Hello guys, time for scary videos. Today with an eerie encounter in the house of a man and something rather unsettling that was unfolding in the kitchen of a family. Now let's buckle up and stay frosty. The following video was shared by Reddit user CalmCap and the incident has unfolded in his own home one night when enjoying the last half an hour before falling asleep in his bed. The user states that he had been dealing with strange shadow sightings ever since moving into his new home. And apparently it has gotten worse after he started watching paranormal TV shows before bed. He has a security camera in his bedroom which is filming non-stop in case of emergency. Calm almost suspects that these shadow sightings were only playing out in his head until this night. Concerning the lights in the other room, he states, I used my laser light projector. I bought it to project stars on the ceiling. I just set it on its side so I'd be able to see if the means would be broken by what I've been seeing. Well, let's watch. A strange shadow can be seen, blocking the light from the other room. But how is that possible? Nobody else was up at the time. Many other commenters are sure that Calm has captured something inexplicable that night, which makes this capture so much more creepy. How would you explain this? Do you think it's a paranormal encounter? or something different. The next video was uploaded by Zane Eager and he states that it was recorded by one of his machine operators during a night shift. The man was moving a machine towards a new community. The community is quite far from everything else and the area on the way barely has anybody else on the road, especially at night. But somehow, something seemed to ram the machine that the man was operating. And then an even stranger event unfolded. Let's check it out. Somebody seemed to be standing right behind the machinery, but when checking and looking over his shoulders, the driver didn't see anybody, which frightened him to the core. So we really need to ask the question, what happened here? The whole area is deserted, and the houses in the background were all model homes where nobody was residing in. I guess it's pretty hard to answer. Maybe somebody was hiding there at the site to scare him. But perhaps something way more unexplainable was going on here. How weird, isn't it? The next video was shared by Thea Taylor and it appears that it was recorded by their surveillance camera which was mounted outside of their house. Her husband noticed that there seemed to be a really strange occurrence going on one night. And while everybody knows that security cameras sometimes can glitch, this was really a strange encounter nevertheless. Let's take a look. 7-2 of 2020. We apparently caught an apparition going to the neighbor's house, going left to right by the trash cans, and in the middle of the driveway, 
this figure or apparition dissipates. Department. There it is. Walking. No legs. And she disappears. If you see, nobody is going into this apartment right now. And a vehicle drives by. Nobody. Nobody's there. The neighbor left. There's nobody nowhere to be found anywhere. Very odd. What's your thoughts on that? I know, it's pretty mysterious. The person just disappears into thin air. Maybe it was an apparition indeed. Could it be possible? What do you think? to check out another CCTV recording, which was shared by Howie Roll on his very own channel. They have a camera mounted in their kitchen area to check up on the animals and to make sure that no strange things are taking place. After all, there's been a lot of break-ins lately in their neighborhood, but they also state that some nights they can hear weird footsteps and even moaning, but they never saw anything, nor was anybody else in their home at the time. This night, when their CCTV sent them a motion detection message to their phone, they were quite in shock after they realized that something must have entered their home without them noticing. Or maybe it has been there the whole time. As soon as the camera switches into natural light mode, there's a strange shadow figure making its way towards the left in the back. What is going on here? Howie and his family were not up at the time, and in their minds it had to be something paranormal. Many people do actually believe that this video could be proof for them that something otherworldly is living in their house. But who can say for sure what it was? It's very unsettling though. Natalia has sent the following video, which she had found, posted by user Sandra Fulton Hamilton John. She uploaded it on her profile and was quite scared to say the least. The post reads as follows. This video is of our deaf friend Jack talking on video chat to his girlfriend. This is proof that spirits do exist. We had paranormal activities come to the house. We had it analyzed and it is very creepy. The house and everything around it in that particular area of Lumberton has a lot of supernatural activity going on around it. Sounds intriguing. Let's take a look. shadow figure is passing by behind Jack's shoulders in an inhumane speed and he obviously didn't notice it at the time. I have seen several of these fast moving shadow incidents and have to say that many of them seem legit. Of course these events could still be staged, but this particular one I would give the benefit of the doubt. How about you? A really unsettling video. We follow Ogden Paranormal, who on their brand new paranormal investigation ventured to the supposedly haunted Goldfield High School. It is located in Nevada and was one of the crew's favorite to-go places on their bucket list. 
It was built in 1907, during the height of the area's gold rush, and it was the largest and best high school at the time in Nevada. Unfortunately, in 1923, a moonshine distillery in Goldfield caused the whole town to burn to the ground, except the Goldfield High School and the Goldfield Hotel. The school closed officially in 1952 and has been unoccupied since then. And while the team was setting up shop that night in the abandoned location, one of Ogden Paranormal's newest members, Eric, had a pretty strange encounter on the upper floor. Yeah, it's weird. I was walking this way, he was behind me, and then he just like, mm -hmm. kind of just like, whoa. Uh, okay. I think he said whoa or something like that, and it was just kind of like, almost like when he was gonna like stumble, and he just pretty much just sat down. You good, E? I think I need, I need some air, dude. Yeah, yeah, let's get you outside, bro. I feel so sick right now. We're, we're trying to figure out where to put the floodlights for the static cam on the third floor. Um, trying to get the angle that Jocelyn was feeling up there. As we're walking around up there, um, about on the side of the railing, walking towards the stairs, felt like I got punched in my stomach. It like knocked everything out of me, man, and I feel so sick right now. Did you like physically feel the punch? Yeah. <laughs> That's something I can't explain. Sounds like the team was off to a good start. After Eric recovers, the team finally begins their investigation. And at that time, one of the camcorders that was set up upstairs, unoccupied, captures the following EVP. I was like, right. Right here, here. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No, that was down there. No, something right here. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No. Right here, here. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No. A few moments later, when reviewing the footage of their thermal camera, there might have been something peeking at them that some say could be the spirit of a child. Girl goes are scarier than guy goes That's what I'm, I'm just scared of seeing. Dude. The team then asks several questions that they hope the spirit world would answer them while the team was taking seats in the classroom. And this is when just in front of that room, there is an interesting shadow being captured close to the trigger objects that had been placed there. It certainly is very faint, but you can definitely see something passing by really fast. Was it possibly a shadow bee that was moving around? Let me know what you think about this investigation. Next we want to take a look at the recording that was shared by Matthew Han24, who was quite startled when realizing that something did not seem right. One evening during his night shift, it is said that he was simply walking in the storage area and that at the time nobody was with him, yet he heard really odd sounds and saw something in the distance that he couldn't fully recognize at the time. But this is apparently what he saw. Let's take a look at the original recording. Matt believes that a creepy face of a man was peeking around the corner. He said that he checked right after capturing it, but there seemed to be nobody around. So what is showing on his video? According to the scribbles, the face is looking towards the left, not necessarily at him. Can you see it too? 
a paranormal incident perhaps. Bad Bobby Gamer BBG has noticed some unusual smoke in his apartment besides hearing the strangest noises this morning. He grabs his cell phone to document and to look for help on the internet right after. Since he wasn't an expert in this field, he needed to know what exactly this activity was. What was that? Yes, it could be dust or orbs, but he captures something else shortly after. It appears that a transparent figure is walking across the floor. What do you think? A spirit, maybe? Unsettling. So I have been like working here in a hospital in Maine for about six to seven months. I didn't believe in the ghost stories that have been going around because I'm just not superstitious like that. Kimberly Winchest started a TikTok series on her profile on which she's documenting and investigating really odd sightings that are unfolding at her workplace, a hospital in Maine. What a coincidence, I was just there visiting myself. It appears that in the city there are many mysterious events unfolding. It all started the following day. What the? Who is standing down that hallway? Oh! Kimberly can notice a person reflecting in the glass of this light. It was apparently weird because no patients were supposed to be out on the corridors at night. Hmm, what happened next? Going to the corner where I recorded the video. So basically the ghost would be like standing right up in this area and I was recording over here. What the? She walks us through the events that had transpired the following night when in fact another reflection on the light of the glass can be spotted by her. Can it be coincidence at this point? Clearly a person. In this short clip, we can see the humanoid figure even better. Somebody seems to stand in the hallway, looking at the screen without no apparent reason. At this point, this whole situation really gets a bit eerie. <laughs> Bestie and me in my haunted section. <laughs> Another night, Kimberly is with her colleague, documenting and joking around, for now. Dude, what the f is that, bro? Dude! Who the f is that? Dude, are you. Are you playing a joke on me? What the f is that? Dude, who the f is that? Oh my god, we gotta go. Wouldn't you know it, another stranger appears in front of the hallway doors, simply staring at Kimberly and her co worker. She's sure that this had to be a prank, and I have to say, I feel the same way. Please excuse her potty mouth. Like, what the f is that, bro? Like, who the f is here? Like, dude, what are you doing? dude like, what? Why? Why Where? What? Where the f? Who's Yo! Who's doing this? Huh? To everybody's surprise, no person is found Anybody? in the hallway that night. Dude. So, and then I can give you a ride home. Not really. 
Yeah, like it's not. This is the last recording of hers, where she apparently catches a strange something in the x-ray room. I can't exactly say what we are looking at here, but it is clear that she was pretty startled. Let's see if these events continue in the future. This clip was recorded by a tourist who was exploring an unknown rural area, apparently while waiting for a connecting train. Something inexplicable creeped up on him. It's annoying when you have to wait for a train at night, especially at a provincial deserted train stop. But what if you're actually not alone? What appears to be a demon is poking its head towards this man. Certainly an image straight out of a nightmare. 